Hello everyone and welcome to episode ouch Episode 4 of Let's Play Ouch Let's Play AMQR 1.0 Last time we completed the Um factory I guess that's what you'd call it I guess I keep getting hit Today we are going to have to build a small area which kind of means this episode is going to be, quite frankly, a bit short. Well, actually, I guess, technically speaking, we're going to be taking on two small areas. And that's going to be today's episode. Because I kind of want to do these episodes based off of, um, areas. Ouch. Meaning... Some episodes will be longer, some episodes will be shorter. I guess I never clarified that in the beginning. So in the end, this series will be about... It's the fourth... I'll think about that in a moment, um... We're in a new place! That's the one button. And there are dead people! Lots of dead people. What did that log entry say? You might be asking yourself, well, let's find out. I think it might actually be this. Yes. Shoot. Okay. The scientists constructed a small mobile mobile research site within the cave system. The access tunnel leading to the research vessel has collapsed, and all of the equipment is non-operational. Vital signs of all exosuits are flatlined. There are no survivors in this site. Well, if that ain't don't if that don't be all. But hey, the doors still work, and there's a super missile tank. So, it's not all bad. Voice crack. Everything's kinda good. And there is something coming. And I can't believe I missed. Die, you... Alpha. Oh, come on. Don't avoid my supers. You know you want them in your belly. Alright. You, sir, are gonna get it. Eat my barrage of missiles. Oh, actually, he's not eating them. Actually. Now, as you can see, there is something up there. However, if I can get up there... We cannot go up there just yet. We need power bombs. This is, in fact, new to 1.0. This was not here in Demo 1.4. So... Yeah. We have a new place to check out, but not until we get power bombs. And Duello, I'm not telling you when you get power bombs. Now, we defeated the Metroids, but this lava did not go down. It instead, went down at a different place, and I'm pretty sure you might have an idea of where it went down if you at all paying attention to other potential locations of the magma-like substance. I keep calling it lava, but it's it's not lava. It's a magma magma-like substance. So yeah. I uh, would just... Yeah, this area is now drained. So now we can continue downwards. Back to the subject on, um... How many episodes there's gonna be, I think. This is the fourth. We have the fifth area. The next area, that's five. Another area, six, seven, eight, nine or so episodes. Is what we're gonna have. So, yeah. Maybe ten at the most. But, we just have to wait and see, I guess. So, no, I didn't miss something. Okay, for a second there, I thought I did. Now, if we just speed boost through this room, we will do just fine. And I did not mean to do that. Oh, well. Can all be cool, right? Anyways, we just want to roll into this thing, and... This thing goes. And goes. It just digs to the ground, like a shack tool. Except, it's not a shack tool. It's a digging thing. Now, the digging thing is stopped. So what we gotta do is ex explode, blow up that bomb, and shoot of a super missile. Because, that's not solid right there. And now we just simply cl climb back on in. And it continues to dig. 
I'm curious to see if he fixed something. No, he did not fix that. Hmm. As you can see, I can't really point out where, sadly. Oh, can you see my mouse? I don't know. But whatever. This area is able to be jumped through. So now we can continue. We want to head over this way first, unless you're speedrunning, in which case you might want to skip this, but we can get ourselves, um, a save, which is always good. And, we have two Metroids in the area. Actually, I think I skipped something, didn't I? Actually, I skipped a lot of things. Holy cow, I should probably read this later. The mining facility. Coriac crystals are one of the most durable, natural forming crystals in the galaxy, though they are not as hard as diamonds. This makes them a more manageable resource. The Chozo found various practical uses for cordite in construction, constructing machinery or products or producing works of art. Man, I'm bad at reading today. This mining facility supplies cordite and other various minerals to nearby industrial complexes. Wait a minute. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, I was being a bit of a dope. Now, let's see if we can. These guys kind of mess up your space jump timing. Luckily, I didn't fall down. All that's down there is lava. And we have ourselves a gamma, which are not affected by these things. Which is kind of annoying, but you know what? Whatever, we can deal. There we go. He dead. Give me your stuff. Thank you, Mr. Gamma. Gamma's at this point. Yeah, see, those guys really mess up your space jump timing. There, and a the combination of space of um, speed booster. Also messed up my timing, so, you know, whatever. Yeah, believe it or not, this episode is already almost done. So, like I said, a short one. But... The next episode might also be of decent length. I don't know. I guess I have to wait and see. And we have ourselves just a simple alpha. Who happens to be evading all of our attack. There we go. Took a lava bath, but you know what? I don't care. Yeah, we're going to get to the entrance of the next area, and then we're going to end off this episode. This mini-episode, I guess. I guess you could call this episode 3.5, although that might not make people want to watch it, because they just think it's nothing important. But in reality, this is kind of something important. Shine Spark! I love Shine Sparking, it's so fun. Stay away from me, you bugs. And I should mention, I do know what Ice Beam is now, because I did play through the rest of the game off camera. Because, while most of my other Let's Plays so far have been blind, I wanted to try something different. And that's what AM2R is. It's almost an experiment for me. But, you know what? Whatever. Just, just space jumping up that corridor, because that's what you do, Samus. You space jump up stuff. And hit your head on rocks. Does Sam's have head trauma? Probably not, because of a power suit. But you hit your head a lot. Although, although Link should have head trauma. Although I can't stole that joke, joke from Steven, please, but you know what? I'm sorry, Steven. I freaking love you, man. You're so funny. <sighs> yeah, I think. Some of you, I think, watch Steven plays. I did. I don't know if you consider this a invasion of privacy, but out of curiosity, I checked to see... I'm able to see who's subscribed to me, and see who they're subscribed to. So... I mean... In your... We also got a new Imini, that... Somebody I watch livestream who does not have that many subscribers, honestly. Call these like fake shack tools, and I freaking love it because that guy absolutely loves shack shack tool. But those things are like fake shack tools to him. He also likes bubbles. 
Actually, I think one of you know who I'm talking, might know who I'm talking about. Again, I'm able to see who you subscribe to. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on, hold on the phone. We missed something. I recorded this episode and completely glossed over the fact there was an item right here. Well, going back watching the episode, just to see how understandable I am, I completely missed this item. And we're going to go get it now. Yeah, I can't believe I missed that and I'm sure some of you would have facepalm, facepalmed if I didn't come back and get this. I got it, and now back to our regularly scheduled AM2R. Although I'm not able to see who all of you are subscribed to, only those who have it on the marked on the channel that allow me to see who they're subscribed to. If you do want to see anyone to see what you, whom you're subscribed to, then you can change that. But anyways, I'm going on a bit of a tangent there. I know what some of you watch Stephen plays, and I've made some references in some of my videos, so I don't know, I'm guessing some of you've got that reference. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. I'm just trying to find something to talk about, I guess. That is in some shape or form rela related to what I'm doing. Yes, there's an item there, and we're going to get that in a moment. We got these bird things. I don't know what they are. But there are six metros in this area, and this episode's almost done. We're going to grab a couple of things and then end off this episode. So we want Stupid birds! You evil, evil birds. Crap. Let's try that again. Shine Spark! There we go. We sort a Shine Spark, and boom, we have ourselves a Missile Tank. Now, granted, we have to take a Lava Bath to get that, but... Who's a small Lava Bath? And I keep taking small Lava Baths. Let's do Scooter Screw Attack. These guys that are flying, they are a pain. The ones that have the... Crap. Get out of the lava. Or magma, or whatever you are. You're some lava-like substance. You're not lava. With this, we just want to lay bombs. And that fix them. And we never see anything like that again throughout the rest of the game. Just strange. And before we end off today's episode, let's read this log. This is an operate. This facility is operating on an emergency power supply. Thermal readings indicate that there is at least one functional device located deep inside the building. Alright guys, that's going to do for today's episode. Like I said, bit of a short one. I am sorry. But again, I want to try doing these episodes based off of areas. And well, that's the end of those mini areas. So, yeah. Sorry! See you guys in the next episode where we'll be exploring this strange and broken down facility. Anyways guys, see you then!